What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to share a very, very useful tip for you guys, which is going to change the way you interact with your Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones. Before I go ahead and show you this tip, I request you guys to subscribe to the channel. More than 80% of you guys who watch my contents have not subscribed yet. If you subscribe, you get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones or any other Android phones. So go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's go ahead. Now you see when I press and hold on this uh, icon these functions associated with the icon will show up here let's say if I'm inside the gallery uh, in case if I want to select an image I press and hold on an image it takes a bit of a time to select that image when you press and hold on it likewise even on the icons it takes a bit of a time to respond and open this particular window here and this also happens inside the files application let's say you want to select a particular item here when you press and hold on it it will not instantly select it will take a little bit of time to understand that you're pressing and holding on that particular file and then it selects it now this is how we select a particular item inside the gallery inside the files or uh, to bring up the functions associated with an icon we press and hold and then it responds now this is called touch and hold delay now this delay is something which you can tweak on your Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones and that is going to change the way you get the response from your phone whenever you press and hold on the icon now you see this is the speed that you're looking at it takes at least half a second to respond and bring up this option now to reduce this touch and hold delay let's go to the settings I will tap on accessibility here now here we have got interaction and dexterity now you see here we have got touch and hold delay now I'll tap on this now by default short is selected it takes about half a second to respond to your press and hold gesture and this can be increased or decreased increasing it it is not going to help us but if we reduce it to very short which is 0.3 seconds or even we can reduce it to 0.2 seconds now first let me select very short let me select this now let's see how it responds you see quickly it will show you this menu you see it's pretty quick now let me just uh, go to medium now let me do this you see it takes at least one second to respond to your uh, press and hold gesture now let's reduce it to uh, long you see it's it is taking uh, more than one second 1.5 seconds I'll press and hold on the calendar. You see, it is taking a lot of time. So this is how we can tweak it. So what you can do is you can select very short or you can select custom as well. Uh, you can reduce it below 0.3 seconds. The shortest time allowed is 0.2 seconds. Below that, you cannot go. Now, this is where you can press and test this. I will just press and hold on this. You see, you can uh, customize this touch and hold delay. Now, I'll just have to press and remove my finger so that I know what kind of press and hold response that I need. Now this is 0.33 seconds, this is 0 0.09, 0 0.11, 0 0.16. It will not take all these options. I'll select it to uh, 0.20. Let me just get it to 0.20 here. This is 0 0.20 seconds. It is not necessary to have the same uh, time. You can actually change it depending on your preferences. You can set this. Uh, if I set 0 0.20, let's see how it responds. I'll just tap on save. You see, this is very quick to bring up this option and this will be very useful inside your other applications as well. Now, let's say inside the gallery, if I want to quickly select some options, what I can do is I can just press and hold on it. Immediately, it will select the options here. You see, the touch and hold response is very, very quick here. Even in the files application, let's try this. You see, it's very quick. You will feel the difference. You will see the difference once you reduce this touch and hold delay response time. So go ahead and change these settings inside your accessibility setting and let me know what do you think about this feature? What is the kind of time you want to set on touch and hold uh, delay? Let me know, drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe and uh, give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.